guys don't mind me like just being here in a robe, I just wanted to make this video really, really little, just like low key and chill because I just really wanted us to kind of play around and talk about makeup. And there is a brand that's called Mented Cosmetics and they actually reached out to me and they wanted to send me over a couple of their products and of course they did. I just want to say before I do anything, they are not requiring me to make this video, they are not paying me, they are not sponsoring this video at all. I When they reached out to me, I was just like, hmm, what is this brand about because I've never heard of it. And when I did my own research, I actually really, really fell in love with the whole idea and the whole like concept behind their brand. And they actually sent over their entire Make You Blush collection, which is six lipsticks here so i just want to read off their about me section on their website to you guys because when i read it it honestly really touched my heart and that was why i was so willing to receive products from them so they have one night over a glass of pinot which I love, we sat down and asked ourselves, why is it so hard to find the perfect nude lipstick? That conversation sparked an idea and that idea became the brand we are building today. We created Menta Cosmetics because we believe every woman should be able to find herself in the world of beauty. We know you'll love being put first because when it comes to beauty, no one deserves to be an afterthought. I love that. Being a brown color girl, being a girl that is darker than my skin tone, it is really, really difficult for us to find the perfect new lipsticks. And honestly, any other product, whether it comes to bronzer, whether it comes to foundation, we are sometimes always the afterthought. And so I love the fact that they, you know, created their whole brand around that idea. Before I get into the swatches of everything, let me just give you guys what the prices are. So this is actually called the Semi Matte Capsule Collection. They send me the entire collection. It comes with, again, six lipsticks, and it does retail for $89. Um, it is vegan, paraben-free, non-toxic, cruelty-free, and they are made in the US. If you want to buy them individually, they are $16.50. Again, I'm not being paid to I'm not being paid to create this video or mention any of those things, but I will be linking everything down below. So if you do want to purchase anything, you totally can. So this is what the packaging does look like. I love the fact that the, the component is like a matte suede. It's really, really soft and feels luxurious. And let me just open one of these. I haven't tried or swatched any of these at all. So this is what the actual bullet looks like. Again, it's matte black and the like the feel of this is super duper smooth and luxurious. I will say it is really, really light which makes it feel like the packaging is a little cheap, but I don't know, just putting it out there and you guys can of course make up your own opinions, but this is what the lipstick actually looks like. This is in the shade Pretty in Pink. Just taking all of these out from the box and I'm going to be zooming you guys in and swatching all six of these lipsticks. Lord, please pray for my lips. Okay, so I am going to first line my lips with my Wet n Wild gel lip liner in the color Don't Be Approved. This is my favorite gel lip liner that I use with any lipstick. So if a lipstick doesn't work with this gel lip liner, I'm using it. So the first color we're going to be going into is this one. It's called Pretty in Pink. I always get really, really anxious about pink colors because they're sometimes a little, a little too pink for my skin tone, but we'll see. Oh my God stop that's so so smooth like I literally didn't have to like work with the product to get it like warm oh this feels really really nice like I'm not even being dramatic oh my god this is so pretty I feel like it doesn't it's a pink shade but it doesn't make me look washed out or dead and again it's like it's definitely not matte. I'm not quite sure why they call it matte, but it's definitely more of a cream a lipstick. It has a little bit of a shine and you can you can definitely see it here on camera. It's really, really pretty and so comfortable. If you are the type of person where you don't like lip lipsticks because they're just way too dry and they feel like they're just suffocating your lips, these are really, really nice. Oh my God, like the pigment glides on so, so smoothly and it complements my skin tone so well. I'm a little bit worried though because I feel like this is definitely going to transfer because it's not a liquid lipstick. I'm just like wondering like how long will these actually last on my lips because they're so creamy and so like they're not definitely not transfer resistant. So that's the only thing I would like, I would definitely have to like test out. All right, let's move on. I'm just going to touch up my lip liner just a little bit here 
Second color that we have here is called Taupe Taupe, which is definitely a taupey brown color. So let's see what this is like. Oh, you see what I mean? Like, the pigment is just like automatically there as soon as you swipe it. Very, very pretty. Again, this is called Dope Taupe. Third color here is called Nude La La. This is what that one looks like. I feel like this whole video, I'm just gonna say, this is really, really pretty. Oh my God, I love this color. They are so, so moisturizing. Like again, I don't feel like my lips are really, really suffocating, which is really nice. And like, I just wanna quickly show you guys how I'm taking these off. I'm not using like a makeup wipe or anything. I'm just using a dry bounty, which is probably not the best thing to use, but they come off really, really easy. So you see what I mean? All the pigment is here on the, the bounty. You see, that's the only thing that kind of worries me, but I mean, that's the point of using a lipstick like this. So you're, if you don't feel like your lips are like super duper suffocating or anything like that. The next color that we have is called Foxy Brown. Ooh, I love the name of that. Let's see what this one is. Ooh. If you have like beautiful chocolate, deep chocolate skin tone, this is gonna look so beautiful on you. Oh my god, this is really, really nice. All right, we got two more to swatch. This is called Dark Night, which is like an even a darker brown color. Oh my. Wow, this is beautiful. These are so shiny and just smooth and pigmented. Like honestly, like the way that like this color looks like on my lips is how I wanted my hair to look like and it kind of matches, not gonna lie. Last color here that we got is called Mented Hashtag 5. I think this is gonna be my favorite color. Let's see. Oh my God, this is like my lips but better. Oh, I love her. I love this color. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this one on. Let's zoom you guys out though. Honestly, this is the first time I have ever received a full lipstick collection or even personally bought a full lipstick collection and there was not a single color that I feel like, mm, that does not work for me. If you guys have seen my Jaclyn Hill um, lip swatch video of her collections because I bought two. There were definitely a couple in those that I was just like, mm, they don't really work for my skin tone. But these, I love all six of them. They all six complement my skin tone really, really well. But at the same time, they're all very different in their own way. The formula is really, really nice. It's so smooth. I don't have to take time to build up the pigment or build up the product, which I love. I don't feel like it's heavy on my skin or that it's suffocating. It is not matte. I really wish that they wouldn't call it matte. Um, it's not even a semi-matte. It's, it's low-key like a gloss, but it's not a gloss. Um, I love it. The only thing I'm going to say also is that... These are going to transfer really, 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 really easy because of the type of formula and the type of lipstick that this is. It is not going to stay on by the end of you like eating a massive cheeseburger. You're going to have to reapply it, but if you are the type of person where you don't really mind that, which I don't really, it doesn't really bother me. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. I will say I don't have a coupon code or anything like that from them, but if it is the first time you are ordering from their website, I believe they have like a 10% off your entire order if it's um, if you sign up for like email notifications or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna stop now and end this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Just a I know